It is very important to engage in peaceful acts of civil disobedience because the reality is that action speaks much louder than words. Yes, we continue to engage in dialogue, in research, in scientific work, in lobbying, advocacy and so on. But it would appear, as history also shows us, that civil disobedience seems to penetrate the consciousness of our leaders much more powerfully than other methods. The struggle for justice, environmental justice, social justice, economic justice, gender justice, these struggles are marathons, not sprints. And I think history will judge that in fact the actions that we are taking right now are appropriate and proportionate to the scale of the threat that the planet actually faces as a result of unbridled environmental and social exploitation. Sometimes we might not necessarily win the demand immediately, but if the action brings people around the world to say, well, actually, as a result of that action, I've understood the issue, I want to get involved, I understand what's happening, then that is a contribution to an ultimate success that we can get down the line. Sometimes people suggest that Greenpeace is extreme and it's militant and so on. However, as our name suggests, we are equally committed to environmental sustainability on the green side and we are equally committed to peace uh, as a value and a virtue. And therefore, non-violence is a non-negotiable for us in all that we do.